Hi, very good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining in. I'm sorry for logging in for like six, seven minutes long. Uh, late. I, all right, great. Thanks for acknowledging Sarvik. Thank you, Anuj, and thank you, Pratik. Hope everybody can hear me loud and clear and can also see my screen. If in case you have any issues in my audio and video, please do let me know so that I can go ahead and fix that up first and then we can continue. 
Are you all able to hear me loud and clear? All right, perfect. Yeah, finally we are back, perfect. Great, so let's get started, guys. Audio is uneven, just give me a second. I'm gonna connect my microphone. All right, give me a minute. All right, so I've just connected my microphone, trying to check if uh, the voice, the audio part is clear now. Is it good or perfect? That's great. Good to hear that. So we got Anuj, Mukul, Pratik, and Sovik. All right, so Anuj and Pratik have started the recording. Others can also start the recording at their end if they wish to, Mukul and Sovik. I'm just trying to check if there are going to be more people joining in. So give me three, four minutes more. I'll just check within the WhatsApp group if others are also joining in. And then we'll start with a recap, all right? Uh, since we didn't have session for the last, I believe, two, three weeks, right? So uh, it's been almost a month, I guess. So nevertheless, uh, I'm not going to talk more on that. We will talk more about what all the stuff we covered and what all the doubts and questions you guys have.
All right, so uh, I, I have left the text across on the WhatsApp group, so we uh, won't wait further. So let's move ahead with the session, guys. So let's do an overall recap. How did we start it? What all stuff have we covered? What all do you remember? And what all questions and queries you would be having? You can keep letting me know on that part. I'll be opening across the documents. I believe you have uh, received. Yes, you did receive across the documents, right? Which I have created while uh, giving across training, right? In between the training itself, I gave across the documents. Maybe you guys can open that across, open the scribble, you know, the scribbling which you have done and so forth. And then you can type in across. All right, so Soic6, Nick, I had mailed you my WordPress credential. If you could reinstall my WordPress, please. If you want, I can send, yes, please, if you can send the details. Uh, there was a halt in between. There was a pause for quite some time. That's why it couldn't get done. So, so you can definitely go ahead and send that across again to me. I will uh, help you out with that. All right, so. I'm just going to go ahead and open across the very first document, guys, which we used in the first session where we started with the understanding each other and also understood the, uh, you know, I explained across the expectations of the deliverable parts as well, right? And then we move further by talking about the stuff which we have covered so far. I would request everyone to please do type in across the stuff which you would need from me at this given point of time. All right. All right, so Vic, I believe you did hear across my uh, answer to your question. All right. So Vic is not logged in. All right, he logged out. Nevertheless, uh, we started, this is the very first document, guys, which we uh, worked on. I mean, where I put down the notes, where I put down the pointers, basically, that this is what we're going to be working on. In terms of the expectations, uh, you guys mentioned that it's more about the knowledge which you need, hands-on digital marketing concepts. Well, whatever sessions we had, you must have seen in terms of the hands-on on digital marketing concepts. Let's say for an example with SEO, I started with, uh, I mean, I did make sure that it's a practical approach. I went ahead and opened across my own website and did everything within the website itself. It was not uh, a clear theoretical stuff, whether it was to do with keyword analysis, for example, I took the uh, tool, the keyword planner tool, I logged in there and uh, performed the entire process of keyword analysis. Then whether it was to do with the keyword mapping, I use example of one of my client's website from his campaign and made sure that you guys get to see that live. And I did share that document as well. So keyword analysis, keyword mapping, then it was about uh, the on-page optimization, the usage of all those tags. What I did, I went inside my website and I have made you see every single piece of on-page optimization right in front of your eyes whether it was title tag, meta tag, description, or all tags, header tags, I had shown you each and everything. So if we talk about hands-on, this is the way I have been doing. If in case you have any uh, you know, requests in terms of changing the way we are getting hands-on, you can let me know, I'm all open to that. Uh, I'm not in the habit of giving you, what do you say, uh, a sort of a homework kind of a thing because you all are working professionals if in case you do want me to give you assignments and exercises to perform and so forth uh and and then i go ahead and uh you know uh, sort of ask you have you done your homework or not if you want that kind of thing that can also be done you can let me know the other expectations which were being told in the very first session was that you want to build your career into digital marketing. It's one and the same thing that you want more, more hands-on, more knowledge and so forth. That's how you're going to build your career. All those who said this, that they want to build a career, that's an answer for them. And uh, all right, these were some of the things which I did mention that everyone is going to get across certified by Google with all the 
uh, education, the training which we're going to get. Now I can understand there was the momentum got lost, right? There is a lot of dissatisfaction at this given point of time, but uh, we're going to catch up for sure so that uh, that particular momentum comes back. Then also in terms of certification, it's all about uh, you, uh, you would be getting certified from Bing as well, other than the Google certifications. And other expectation was to be an independent digital marketing powerhouse or sort of a one-man army, right? Somebody who wants to go ahead and uh, you know, work on his own independently without having any help from uh, maybe, let's say, a developer, designer, content writer, or a video creator. That's what my overall learning has been like. So if I talk about... WordPress-based website, which we started with first, that was purely focused towards making you work independently without having any technical knowledge, right? So getting a website up in the non-technical way, getting the search engine optimization being done with the help of SEO, Yoast, and so forth, they were all were geared towards, they all were being focused towards making you, uh, you know, an individual who works, who can work uh, independently in the digital marketing domain, right? The other expectation I've mentioned that uh, whatever technical knowledge is gonna come across, I'm gonna make sure that uh, it's being explained in pure, simple fashion in a layman language. That's what I've been trying to do so far. Whatever sessions we had, whether it's six, seven, whatever session, six, seven weeks, right? I believe six weeks, six weekends we had sessions, right? Whatever sessions we had, uh, I have tried my best to give you technical knowledge in the name and language. If in case in any of the in any of the sessions you believe that there's something which was not clear, it was more technical, it sounds French to you, please do feel free to raise in your hands and uh, let me know what's hap uh, what, what's going on. I want more explanation, more clarity, more. Easy, easy explanation and so forth. I would be more than happy to assist you in that. The other thing is that I'm going to showcase you live campaigns of my existing clients, which I've already did, like for an SEO I, I started with. And when we move further, further with Google AdWords, email campaigns and so forth, uh, I'll keep on following the same approach. If you have any uh, suggestions for me, anything for me to make sure that, uh, I mean, in terms of getting my way of teaching and training being changed, you can let me know. I can, I can make sure that I, I do it as per your uh, expectations. All right. Live walkthroughs of all the tools. So with uh, like, I mean, Keyword Planner was one of the tools. So as we'll have more tools coming across, definitely that would be, that, that is going to be done by me. I'll keep giving you live walkthroughs of all the tools. The next expectation guys, which I told you was that I'm gonna give you access of paid tools. So uh, I'm gonna get uh, you know the licenses and so forth from the knowledge work teams pretty sooner, and we'll give you uh, some of the paid tools, uh, you know the access for some of the paid tools, and we'll show you how do they work and so forth, so that uh, um, whatever I've said, I, I uh, you know go ahead and achieve that also. So this part is yet to be done. I can go ahead and mark it across in red as of now. I haven't given you the paid tools, which would be the rest I have been marked in red or green or whatever is just because as per me, I've been, uh, you know, delivering all of these. If in case you want me to mark anything else in red, which you feel that is, this is yet to be delivered. Let me know. I'll help you. Right. I mean, I'll, I'll deliver that. Okay. So the other expectations, which we, so guys, all those who have, joined in a bit later or so forth. I'm just trying to tell you that uh, we're doing a, a, a big recap, not a small recap, a big recap of what we started with and so forth. Okay, so the other one was lessons which the trainer has learned in his or her overall professional working is to be imparted and that's what I'm doing. And uh, the trainer needs to impart education on the new concepts. So that keeps happening at the trainer, which is me. I do get trained across from uh, various different resources and, and, and so forth, right? So the train the trainer. So, which, so that's something which Google people keep doing that, why I keep getting training from them. Now, uh, the other thing was resources which I needed to keep on pace up for the dynamic industry. I'll, I'll uh, inform you about those. So there are, so since this has come up, 
I can give you information about that. And now you have attended at least six weeks sessions. So I'm letting you know some of the websites, guys, which you should go ahead and visit on a regular basis and keep reading across uh, whatever articles, news piece, blog piece comes over there so that you're being staying updated with the industry. So one is searchenginewatch.com. The other one is search engine journal.com all right and then the other one is so let me just go ahead and open that them first so search and then watch.com is the first one so just letting you know name isn't enough let me give you an understanding so what i do as a digital marketer once you guys also would be starting your career once you've got the entire knowledge and the, the course gets over it's good that you go ahead and straight away first of all sign up and uh, get yourself subscribed to their newsletters they're pretty informative and so forth or you can come uh, keep visiting this website you can keep coming back to this website on a regular basis and keep looking at uh, in all these sections so if we start if you talk about seo uh, you know, they do have a lot of information about, uh, edu you know, sort of a, a, a partial education about the SEO stuff. They can teach and train you. That's one thing that's up to you, whether you want to go ahead and read that out. But what's happening in the SEO industry as of now, that is something which you will keep getting to know. So as you can say on 25th May, 24th May, they, I mean, on every single day, they're more, more or less, they keep coming up with something or the other. But now the other frequency is not that, often but whenever they have any information related to the uh, internet marketing digital marketing industry they keep going ahead and sharing that across now one of them is like how to optimize google my business listing when you have uh, you know in multiple locations i would say search engine watch and seo is the same thing uh, no so search engine watch is a website which caters to the entire digital marketing industry not just the seo so seo is one of them right it is a website it is a platform where you can get information the updated the new updates about the digital marketing industry all right so in the seo world what's going on in the ppc in the analytics in the social media world in the mobile marketing video marketing content marketing and so forth in all of these worlds uh, what's going on, what is Google up to, what are the right things to, in terms of performing a campaign and so forth. Such kind of articles are being published on a regular basis. If you're going to go ahead and spend in time on this website, at least half an hour a day, you, you'll, uh, you, you'll be connected to the industry and you'll keep getting to know what's going on, what are the right techniques, what are the new techniques, uh, what should be avoided, what's obsolete now. What are the trending things and so forth? All right, so Anut says, can you repeat it? All right, so Anut said, I said that search engine watch is not SEO. SEO is one of the channels, right, within the digital marketing. And for performing all of these digital marketing channels or campaigns through these channels, when the campaigns are being performed, you do not get to know so easily that what are the updates, what are the changes in the industry, right? If today there are 50 different things which you look at while performing an SEO campaign, will the 50, those 50 things will remain there for lifelong? The answer is no. Things will keep getting changed. Something will be added. Something would be deleted. There would be additions made in the entire approach. And how do you really keep yourself updated on that? How will you really keep on getting to know that? It's not going to be that you will keep on taking more courses and, and stuff, right? Uh, since your base is going to be up, you would be able to grab through about what's happening in this industry through this website. This website will keep getting you, will keep informing you. All right, so all you can do is you can keep coming back to this website or you can subscribe yourself to their, 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 their newsletter and keep reading. Make sense, Anuj? Perfect. Anyone who's got any question can let me know. All right, so search engine watch I said is one of them.
search general is the other one. So I love these two websites. I love these two websites in terms of, uh, it's a sort of a newspaper for me. It's a sort of a Bible for me. Uh, it's a sort of a Bhagavad Gita for me. I mean, I do make sure that I read it on most of the instances and rather on a daily basis. If I'm not able to, then I catch up on the news piece on whenever I get time. So yesterday only I was reading across this ebook which they launched about uh, you know if, if you're advertising agency it's wasting a budget that's what the topic is so it, it was an interesting read and it gives you a good understanding about what's happening in the digital marketing world now keep this with you and uh, make sure you you follow this approach of of going back to these resources again and again so these are a couple of uh, sources. Now, the other expectation, guys, is that I told you that every trainee gets across his or her website made for sure. Reviews and feedbacks will be provided to every trainee in terms of the website. Now, that's the reviews and feedbacks are yet to be delivered from my side. In terms of the website first, I do want to check. So, Sovik did mention, I'll, I'll help out Sovik. Pratik Mukul uh, uh, if you have any, uh, I mean, if if I haven't helped you with the hosting, with the domain, I believe you guys have booked in your domain. In case it's not been done, and all those who are listening to the recording also, and they're part of this batch, since they couldn't, some of them couldn't join today, do let me know. I'll go ahead and make sure that the website is being set up across. And once your website has been set up by you guys, you have went, to, you have went ahead and you have, in, you have uh, entered across the content, you feel that your website is up and running, you can email me across your website URL and uh, let me know that it's been done and you want reviews and feedback, right? You want, you want an update on how exactly the website is, I'll go ahead and uh, definitely let you on that part. I hope that makes sense. Uh, are you guys done with the website? I know it's Mukul and Pratik. I remember all three of you did get the website initially, but uh, have you configured them in terms of the content part and so forth? Right, so Anuj, uh, Mukul and Pratik, have you guys got the content yet? All right, so Mukul not yet, Pratik not yet. Okay, uh, nerve problem. And how about you, uh, Anuj? So you can uh, set it up and keep a deadline with your... So I, I don't want to give you a deadline from my side, reason being I know everybody is engaged with their own stuff. So keep a deadline with you. you create a deadline for yourself and uh, make sure that you achieve that deadline because once that's going to be done, you have to go ahead and make sure that you apply and implement the other digital marketing channels as well. Right, as we keep moving further, it will keep getting piled up if not being done with, with the deadline factor in mind. All right, so uh, after that, I would also like to see your working, which you have done from the SEO uh, side as well. When I say the, from the SEO side, uh, I would like to see the kind of tags which you have created and uploaded on your video on, on your website. Uh, I would go on to some of the web pages of your website and would like to see the SEO Yoast column and would like to see uh, whether all those tags, whether it's do with the title tag, meta tag, or the all tags and so forth, the header tags, they are being implemented or not, right? I believe you guys remember all those tags. If in case not, you have the access to the recordings, you can anytime go back and live, you know, uh, sorry, uh, listen to the entire recordings and let me know wherever you are finding any trouble. All right, so the other expectation was, all right, which I did mention is that each one of you are going to get across the paid advertising. All right, the paid advertising for, for the paid advertising, you're going to get what does it mean is that we will be giving you credits 
So Google asks for money in terms of running across ads. Now, we do not want you to spend in money initially. Uh, that's not a compulsion. It's all optional. If in case you want to spend money from your side, that's okay. If in case not, uh, at least we give you a certain amount, which is, in, which is going to be in between 500 Indian rupees to 25 Indian rupees per trainee to in order to go ahead and uh, run across the campaign. So I believe we started with the paid campaigns. We are, we didn't do, we didn't uh, went in and do the practical part. We were just in the theoretical way, but we'll start it again for sure. Okay, today we are taking a lot of time to understand right from the first session. I'm making sure that the expectations which were being told are going to be met and are getting met. I have a close watch on the expectation. It's not that I did tell them in the first session and it's all vanished, no. So we will we'll have a close watch on this. The other thing was, the other expectation was that, that job, whether it's to do with job, or doing an internship or being a freelancer, or you want to promote across your own business through digital marketing, or you want to open your own digital marketing business, whatever the case may be, we do uh, give you or impart you training or keeping in, keeping in these objectives in mind. Whatever the objective is out of all of these, whether you're looking for, or for, for getting placed in the digital world, you're looking to get across an internship or you want to work as a freelancer or you want to promote your own business, whatever the objective may be, the entire training is rotated across that. All right. And even also we will be having session in the end where I would be mentioning across the steps in which needs to be taken in order to uh, get started with your own uh, digital marketing campaigns or, or maybe you want to work as a freelancer. As a freelancer, what is the procedure, what are the steps, what, which one needs to take. And these steps are going to be from my experience only, right? So I'll, I'll be letting you know what are all common mistakes people do and you should avoid them. So from other learnings, from others' mistakes, uh, learning across is the best thing to do and that's what I'll keep doing that. All right, so that will also come later and that would be delivered for sure. Then uh, we did promise you that, uh, I did, sorry, not we, I did promise you that there's going to be a forum to ask your questions during the weekday. So this is again, uh, not being set up yet. Again, I'm going to put this across in red. So this is to be delivered from my end and also the paid tool. So I'm just going to, this is something where I have to check with the knowledge works team, uh, the top management, I mean to say, I'll check with them and I'm going to get back to you with regards to the forum. So with forum, it also includes across LMS and so forth, which we'll, we'll do that. All right. And uh, all right. So reviews and feedbacks on whatever you will do. So make sure guys, whatever we are doing, you are self-motivated. You are self-driven in terms of performing those tasks. I don't want to do it as sort of a compulsion thing because uh, I know everybody has got their own, uh, you know, Everybody's got their, one second, give me, give me a second. I'm sorry. Right, so we don't wanna, I don't wanna go ahead and give you deadlines and so forth. I want you to be self-motivated and give deadlines to yourself. And then let me know that this is being done from your end and you want reviews and feedbacks. All right, on whatever stuff you've done, whether it's to do with doing uh, the website creation part or getting the website being optimized, running across any other campaign, whether the paid text ad campaign, the social media campaign, the video channel creation, the video campaign, mobile apps and so forth, wherever we uh, keep learning across. Uh, these were the expectations. Let me just see. Okay. These were the expectations. If in case you have any questions, any, uh, any other amendment, you want to add on something, you want to, pinpoint something you want to uh, go ahead and let me know that this is not being implemented or uh, I have to go ahead and keep a close uh, uh, watch on this. Let me know. I'm all here to assist you and then give in my opinion on that. Okay, so moving further, Anuj Mukul and Pratik. I know most of the participants didn't join in. Uh, the rhythm got broken. That's why that could be one of the reasons. Well, the 
checking of certifications i was being told by me that how can you how you can go ahead and check these certifications by going on to google partners you can refer to the recording guys of session 1 there i have mentioned it then in the first session we started with understanding now this is going to be a quick uh, recap we started with understanding what do we mean by marketing marketing uh, being one of the major uh, you know section within the within any organization a profit or non profit making organization it helps in achieving various different objectives and those objectives are to reach out to x number of people get across uh, you know get across uh, an x amount of sales or business or leads and so forth so marketing people take care of several objectives which are there right the advance so then we went ahead and understood what do we mean by digital marketing right what exactly digital marketing is and uh, how it really got started in and how we can see within our lifestyle the way digital world has got into our uh, lifestyle have got have, has got into our life altogether and how are we going ahead and making use of it right plus then from a marketer's point of view i kept on saying that uh, we will be changing roles i hope you guys remember that sometimes i'll be asking you to think like a marketer sometimes i'll ask you to get into the shoes of google sometimes i'll ask you to get into the shoes of a, let's say a marketer or a normal consumer and so forth and then try to understand things so keeping that in mind i also made you understood as a marketer what are the advantages i i uh, asked you and you guys delivered the answer and there were several advantages which you did mention that it's more uh, it it helps you reach out to more number of people precise number of people right it has got a great uh, laser focused targeting approach so if you want to target only a handful chunk of people and want to show them only the ad that's possible for for the digital world which is not likely there with the offline with offline the laser targeting is in there right the penetration of internet is there and so forth so all of these things are it's ROI driven measurable more cost effective and so forth right these all things which we understood then we understood that the internet consumption is rising up and so forth and there are various channels you guys did mention what all platforms on the internet are accessed by you the most and also at the least right but what we observed was that there are certain common channels where people spend their time on the internet we are there a handful number of channels which are those number one was the social media the social media sites social media sites includes across the sites like facebook youtube linkedin twitter and so forth now these are the most popular ones there are quite a many but we're going to be concentrating majorly on the popular ones and so forth okay and then the paid uh, social media marketing uh, we would be understanding the unpaid social media marketing uh, we would be understanding the other digital channels which we spoke about was the third party sites uh, how to advertise on these third party sites the, through the display ads and uh, the other channels which you guys mentioned that you do check across email so as a marketer we will see how can we go ahead and create campaigns around these uh, you know channels whether it's through the email or through advertisement on various third party sites right the search engine optimization part we understood that and then we started with the major basics so prateek says no audio is that for everyone mukul and anuj can you hear me All right, perfect, Anish. You can hear me. How about uh, you, Mukul? Mukul, yes, I can hear you. And now there is no voice. Okay, now you're right. Just trying to check for Teak. Why is that? So, give me one moment. Let, let me just uh, 
turn off and turn on the microphone. Give me one second. All right, so I did troubleshoot your Pratik. Let me know if in case that works for you. If in case it doesn't, then uh, maybe there is a problem at your end. All right, moving further. So I believe uh, Pratik should here. Oh, uh, Pratik then. Okay, we started with understanding the basics uh, of the search engine part. We took the search engine marketing as the first thing. We understood what a search engine is, why people do use across search engines, what is the purpose, what is the reason behind that, right? These were the things. And then we started with uh, understanding the layout of our search engine results. The search engine result page, which comes in after typing across a specific uh, query in it. Right. Whenever we, as a search engine user, type in across a query, what we get to see is results something of this sort. All right. The Google shopping ads are the ones which we do get to see across on the top. Not not for every search we do get to see. For uh, some of them, if it's a if it's a search related to a particular product, some product, and so forth. These ads. And these are ads because they have got sponsored written right next to it. Pratik, I believe now you can hear me. Let me know. And I'm just going to go ahead and put you on mute also. Right, so uh, let me know in the chat if you can hear me. So Google Shopping ads are these ones, the ones which have got prices attached to it. I did also mention that they are only created across by the e-commerce websites. Perfect, that's great. Uh, they're being created across by e-commerce websites only. And they, how they're being identified is that they've got images and plus they've got a price, right? So the ads with the price are the ones which are called the Google shopping ads. And they're also called image ads on search results, the other name given to it. And the other name, the third name given to this is the product listing ads, ads which appear in these search results when a search query is typed by a search engine user, all right? This form of an ad is always accompanied by an image of the product and its price, and these ads can be created by the e-commerce websites. We'll be covering that up. We'll be going ahead and working, uh, talking more about it as we move further. And in the beginning, uh, the other basic thing which we understood was the different, the, the way, the other different form of paid marketing on search engine is done with the help of these paid text ads. All right, they are also very commonly called as pay-per-click ads. Even these ads are pay-per-click since the pricing mechanism, pay-per-click is a pricing mechanism basically. So PPC ads, 
all right the text ads basically we understood then we uh, understood the unpaid way the unpaid way of marketing the unpaid search engine marketing that is called search engine optimization all right uh, i'll be talking about google where i think we did this with google web master also and in the basics i did tell you the search results which are seen underneath the paid ads right the results the search text results with the ad symbol uh, they are created with the help of google adwords right underneath these paid search text ad results there are the unpaid listings these unpaid listings if we talk about are are uh, also a way through which the marketers are trying to get in touch with their end customers right these end customers if we talk about are are doing a lot of searches on the internet on the search engine and it's the response, it's the marketers who try to get in touch with them by making sure that they go ahead and uh, optimize their websites and when they optimize their websites they are doing several things whether it's on page optimization off page optimization and so forth which we did discuss also in detail so these search is uh, text results without the ad tag are referred across as uh, marketing done on search engine in an unpaid manner right there are different names given to these results do you guys remember that then now i've been doing a lot of talking let me go ahead and ask you questions now what all do you remember so these results these unpaid text results they have got different names to it what are the other different names these are called unpaid listings and what all do they are they being called across if you guys remember you want to refer your notes you can do that across you are free free to open your notes and check that yes that is correct anuj uh, they are also called natural listing any other name which you remember so natural listing unpaid listing these are two names there are furthermore you can let me know and organic listings perfect organic listings natural listings unpaid listings and seo listings right these are the different names for these uh, listings which are right up over here perfect stuff so i'm moving further then uh, the other channels which we are spending time and we are using across internet is the websites or uh, apps and so forth on the mobile right so the, this is again going to be something which we will be covering across website creation and development part that's being already covered i believe you guys remember that portion if in case not you can anytime refer to the recordings and then see how that was being done so i'm going to go ahead and put this across the seo portion also in green so we've covered these two the website creation and the seo and which are the top most this seo is the top most one and the ppc ads we are almost like 25 30% done with this we but we'll we'll kind of start to fresh with this all right once uh, everybody is also going to be here so i'm doing again a recap i'm continuing with the recap and then there is going to be digital analytics i did show you the right so uh, google analytics part was being shown by me and not able to recall i did i show you how to get across your website connected with google analytics did i give you uh, we haven't done so or else we will we'll show that no problem so all these channels and platforms they do give across opportunities to marketers and advertisers to achieve their marketing goals right hope that works this is the very first thing okay now the other the stuff which i have mentioned over here that was to do with uh, how do you really go ahead and make decision about buying a, buying across a particular product you go ahead and compare you ask people around you look into various advertisements online and offline and that's what you've been doing right so all the other questions which i asked was when you have landed on to some of the review sites do you get to see banner ad and so forth i've been speaking about that all right so i did tell you about remarketing also 
the example of remarketing. If you've been to one of the websites and you get to see their ad again, that's remarketing and so forth. All right, so these were more other things. What we're gonna do is now, uh, we'll do a recap on how to create across a website, which is the first one. All right, and then we move further. Uh, okay, we can take a break right now. All right, so you guys can go ahead and take a break. And then after the break, we'll start with the recap, a sort of a refresher for the website creation process. All right, and then, uh, We'll, we'll continue further with our recap to SEO and so forth. So let's take a uh, 20, 25 minutes break and then after the break, we'll continue further. All right, so I'm gonna be in mute uh, and then we'll connect guys, thanks.
All right, so let's get started after the break, guys. Just trying to check if you can hear me. All right, perfect. Thank you, Pratik. Thanks, Mukul. So the next thing, guys, which we covered across was the website creation part. You guys have uh, done some of it, which is like buying the domain and so forth, changing the name servers and getting the hosting up. That's what I remember. The other thing, uh, the other steps were getting a theme up and I did give you the choice of, you know, a paid team. So I'll, 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 talk, I'll talk more about that. Anuj, I'm just trying to check. You can also hear me, right? So having a web presence, whenever we, perfect, thanks Anuj. So whenever we start with digital marketing, we need to have a, a present across on the internet first. The presence on the internet is either going to be with the help of a, let's say a mobile app or by having a website, by having, a, so by having social media accounts for, your, <clears throat> for a venture for which you want to, uh, you know, use across these digital marketing channels and so forth. So we started with getting a website up to begin with. The mobile app part, the social media, properties out there being created, we'll, we'll cover that part as we move further. All right, so at that point of time, there was a question I did ask you that is it good just to have a web presence with the help of uh, these free platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and so forth. I did answer that they are essential, but definitely if you are looking for a much better marketing and you have got budget with you, you can go for a website creation. And the website, you can go for a website at least, right? And in order to build across a website, I did tell you that we, were, we are going to be building up across a website in a non-technical manner, where we would not be using across any help of a developer, no coding, language skills needed, and so forth. And I did tell you that this is possible with the help of a CMS. A CMS is called a content management system, which is WordPress, right? So we did use across WordPress for that very purpose. And with the help of WordPress, we are able to create across a responsive website. When we say responsive, responsive over here means a website which looks good on all the major devices. And which are the major devices, which are the topmost devices, either a tablet or a mobile phone or a laptop desktop, right? So the themes which are available across for these WordPress-based websites and so forth, they all are by default responsive and we do not have to do anything from our side. Had I been teaching and training you all of these things like let's say 10 years back and so forth, that that point of time these uh, functionalities were not available, but we do have them now without any extra cost and so forth. Right, so all this is going to be done, the website portion, without usage of any coding or any designing and so forth. I did mention across one of the tools, which is called Responsive Design Checker. So uh, I, like in the expectation, I also did mention that there are gonna be various tools which I'll keep informing you. Responsive Design Checker tool helps you to find out the responsiveness of any particular website. On how, uh, it, it does, gives us a pictorial representation of how our website looks like or how our or whichever, whichever website you want to check. How does it look like on uh, various different devices, those same, the, the tablets or mobile phones and so forth. It does also show us how would the website would look like on an iPad or an iPhone or a, uh, you know, any particular uh, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or any uh, various different devices, right? I did tell you about this. I also mentioned what exactly we mean by the term web 2.0, which means uh, in the today's world, it's the websites are uh, enabling the feature of communicating to and forth, right? So people who visit across our website can give in uh, their reviews, their, their feedback about how they felt when they came on the website, what was their experience and so forth, right? So two-way communication, which wasn't there earlier. Now here are the steps. Now I'm coming on to the steps which we covered with regards to the website creation. Content man management system being the uh, first, most, first and the foremost thing which I told you that helps us to manage and create across a website, manage basically, 
manage the entire content, as the name also says. There are various popular content management system like OpenCard, Magento, WordPress, Typepad, Zoomla. The one which we focused across is the WordPress one, all right? Now, other than WordPress, all of these are there, which we would not be working on, but if you can work on WordPress, you can surely work on the other platforms also. Now, in order to uh, check the WordPress based website, I did mention if there is a word, if you have a WordPress based website and you want to go to the back end of that website, there's a define, default URL structure for going on to the back end, which is the website name would be there for sure. The website name, power, you know, dot com or whatever, the website name dot com or dot xyz or whatever the top level domain is going to be. All right, forward slash WP hyphen admin. So forward slash WP hyphen admin, when that's going to be post punched in across in the browser, this is the screen which we do get and we log in and get back. Now, this is something which was just for your information's sake, but I'll tell you, uh, we'll recap rather, we have covered that part. How do we get onto this page? How do we get the access? I think that, that part was being covered already, so I'm going to be quick on that. This is the default screen of the WordPress panel. So when you log into the backend of any WordPress based website, this is how the backend panel is going to look like. It will give you a lot of functionalities, I mean, a lot of sections. And then underneath all these sections, there's a lot of content posted across and so forth. So to start with how to create across a WordPress based website, it starts with buying across a domain first. And domain is the investment on domain is a annual uh annual thing you pay across on annual basis i did mention and i did show you the procedure of how you can get across a domain for a lesser price you know and so forth and i believe each one of you followed that same approach and you were uh successful in terms of buying across a domain at a much much lesser price the much much lesser price if i talk about it was almost like one sixth or one seventh price of uh, what the actual price is all right, so having said that, uh, when we buy across a domain from GoDaddy or any other website, what we get is we first of all sign up and we get username and password from GoDaddy and, uh, and, and nothing else, that's it. I was uh, also, I did also tell you in that separate, in that very much session, that ICANN is an organization which keeps across data and uh, data of all the domains which are there in the internet world, which ones are available, which ones are not available, and so forth also. And if you want to check across the, who's the owner of any specific domain, any specific website which is there at uh, present right now, you can go to whois.com and check that. You can get the contact details, provided that website owner has kept it public, right, the, the records. If it's being kept private, then even whois.com will not be able to tell. Then I went ahead and told you about what are top level domains, right? So uh, there are generic top level domains and there are geographically top level domains. The extension after the name of your website name. So like the generic TLDs are like .org, .net, .xyz, .net and so forth, .com, which is for worldwide, .edu, which is for educational institutions only, .gov for government organizations. So if you are not a government organization and you still want to possess .gov, you won't be because for getting these top level domains, you have to produce certain documentations, which does uh, give a proof to the domain providers that yes, you are a government or based organization and government organization and you can, you have the rights to procure it else you would not be. All right. The other TLDs are the geographical TLDs. Now it depends upon how, do you want to go ahead and promote across your business? Do you have business? Do you have an organization which is, uh, which has got multiple wings in various different countries? For an example, Amazon is one of them. What Amazon also does is Amazon creates across various different versions for, of its website for every single location, every single country. So for Amazon, for India, it's Amazon.in. For, uh, for Canada, it's Amazon.ca. For uh, UK, it's Amazon.co.uk and so forth. So it's, it's a great strategy to go in and use this process. It always helps in the uh, marketing as well, in, in uh, search engine optimization too. 
and also in various other different digital marketing activities. But search engine being the top notched one which gets across the maximum benefit if you follow the same approach. Right, so .in, .co .uk, .ca, .com .au are some of the examples of generic geographic TLDs, right? I hope you guys remember what exactly we mean by the term URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator, or it's another name which is given across to a web page address. As you all know, every website is made up of multiple web pages, and all these multiple web pages have got its own unique address, the web address. Every web address is called a URL. So uh, you should not get confused if somebody says, what's the URL and so forth. It's one and the same thing, the web page address or the URL. All right, with, uh, with regards to the getting the website up, once your web domain has been bought, what you do is you get, get onto buying across hosting server. That is something which has been already provided from my end to each one of you. Again, this is uh, an investment which is where you can renew it annually. You can also renew it monthly and so forth. So it's not a compulsion that you can go ahead and buy it, uh, an annual package only. You can buy a an, uh, monthly uh, monthly package also, not, not manually, sorry. So you can buy annually, uh, quarterly, monthly, and so forth. Now, there are various different uh, players which are available in this space also. GoDaddy is definitely there. Then the top more top notch one is GoDaddy and HostGator. That's what I told you. The hosting which I provided to each one of you is from the HostGator guys. All right, so, oh, it's already mentioned. It's monthly subscription model also and so forth. Okay, that was. So hosting provider, what they do give you once you go ahead and buy hosting from them, they'll give you username and password of your cPanel. I've given you, uh, I've shown you uh, and given you a walkthrough of this, right? Where I opened the cPanel and installed WordPress for each one of you and so forth. So you get the cPanel URL. You also get across the username and password for your cPanel. And then you get also the name server details. Now name server details are unique for every hosting server. For every hosting server, you get across the name server details. And uh, like the name server details, which I mentioned across for my server is this, right? Now, what do we do with the name server details? Name server details, which is unique to every server, we go ahead and put them across, copy them across and paste it into these settings of our domain. If we have, you know, from wherever we have buy about the domain. This is something which gives across an intimation to the, uh, domain that this is the server which has uh, which has to get connected so this is the bridge the, the the link between the hosting and the server the name servers i'm talking about that's how the do domain and the server which you have bought both are going to get connected and how are you going to go ahead and make these changes the name server changes what you have to do is you have to go ahead and log into your uh, domain account the place from where you bought the domain, whether it's GoDaddy or whichever place you bought it from. So I'm, I've taken GoDaddy as an example over here. What you have to do is you have to get into the settings of the domain. Within the settings of the domain, you will be getting across an option which says name servers. What you would be doing is you will click on to manage or custom and so forth. And uh, you would be able to go ahead and change across the name servers, right? The custom ones. So like what I've done over here, I've deleted the previous ones which were there and then I added on mine. I hope you guys all remember this. Once that's been done, you go ahead and save that. You save, save the name servers and so forth. When that, once that's been done, the next step in getting a website up is to open the cPanel which the hosting server has given, hosting provider has given you. The moment you open the cPanel, uh, you would be getting across an option to uh, install across softwares, right? In the software section and in the software section, you'll get across a quick install tab. Now the way to open across the cPanel, there's a default URL for that also. It's website, the name of the website and whatever the TLD is gonna be, forward slash cPanel. For WordPress, it was forward slash WP hyphen admin. For cPanel, it's the website name forward slash the cPanel. Now, once you have gotten to cPanel and you've seen the 
software section and within the software section. So here's the software. So there are going to be various different sections. So this is one of the glimpse of a C panel. The, the look and feel of various different C panels are absolutely different. The one which I have given you has got a look and feel like this. One thing which is common amongst all the different C panels is that, that the functionalities are more or less the same. All right. So if you're going to get across the software section in my C panel, you'll get it in the other ones also. Within the software, you will, would get an option which says quick install. Just click on the quick install. All right. And then through that, you would be able to install the CMS, which is the WordPress. So you get the WordPress admin username and password for your site this way. Once you'll log in, you'll get this snapshot. You'll get this screen. All right. Once you click on to quick install, this is the screen which will come in right in front of you. It's, it will say install the WordPress. What you will do is you'll go ahead and click onto that. Click on to get WordPress. And the moment you'll do it, it will say, do you want to install the WordPress for free? For free, you will say yes, install WordPress. So after clicking on to install WordPress, WordPress will be connected to our main website and we'll be provided the login URL and the username and password for the website. WordPress uh, dashboard and so forth, right? So the WordPress backend details would be given to you once you log in, once, once you'll install it. And uh, you'll take those details, you'll log into your WordPress. This is gonna be the page where you will be going ahead and adding in the user, you're punching in the ad username and password which you've got by WordPress. That's it, you would be able to see the same dashboard again and you would be able to make changes all right. Now, once that's been done, you can go ahead and buy across a WordPress theme, but I'm not asking you to buy a WordPress theme. I've given you the option of uh, letting me know what theme do you want, what paid theme do you want, and uh, the place from where you can search it across, guys, is this one. So, themeify.me is the name of the website where you can go and look at all the themes which are available. So just go ahead and click on to all themes and these are various different themes. Now these are the major bigger themes. If you will go ahead and click on to any one of those, there are going to be sub themes also inside this also. So you can uh, let me know which one do you want. I can give you that, is, uh, not as free, I would say it's part of the course, right? It's gonna be uh, something add on. So let's say, the way you want to go ahead and check all of these is by clicking onto the link, but clicking onto the theme and then the demo button. So the moment you're going to click onto the demo button, it'll give you a glimpse of how your website is going to look like. All you can do is you can edit across that content. So if you have this picture right up over here, you can replace this picture with some other picture of whatever you want. And in terms of, you know, uh, in place of all of these text, this menu, you can change the text also. You can change the content over here. You can change the image, right? And so forth. That's up to you. This is one of the examples, one of the themes. Similarly, you can go to various different themes and then let me know which particular theme do you want for, for uh, your website. All right, so I believe uh, uh, all of you are supposed to be telling me this. I would be waiting across for that option or for that uh, email where you would be asking me for the theme. I'll go ahead and upload that and you're, you would be good to go in terms of editing it. All right, so that is all about the WordPress themes and so forth. How do we upload it? We upload it by getting into the appearance section. Well, I'll, I'll do the uploading part. It's okay, so you don't need to concentrate more on this step. So how we upload it is by getting into the appearance section and then themes and so forth. All right, and then you'll be able to add new theme and upload it across. And then we'll talk about the SEO use and so forth. So uh, what I can say is that uh, this is, we have we've covered the uh, a recap in terms of what did we started with? What all uh, expectations we uh, I did mention? 
and uh, whatever questions you had, you have or pasted that across in the chat window. You can further paste paste them again uh, if you have further more. Then I then we discussed about various different channels which we're going to be covering across in this entire course. How many of them have been covered? How many of them are in between, and uh, how many of them are yet to be covered, and so forth. We saw that. Plus, we started with the website creation part. Uh, it's almost 12 o'clock. What I can say is that uh, Pratik says, when do we inform you regarding the theme? If I mean, right now we have not done much uh, in our website. So, shall we send our theme file selection? Yes, you can select your theme file stuff and send it to me. Once I'll upload the theme, then you can go ahead and uh, get the content changed and so forth. So, you can do that now. So before you get the content up on your website, you can let me know about the Themeify part, uh, maybe in a day or two, right? So uh, just, you can take time, you can go through all of those themes, and uh, when, once you're done with looking at all of the themes, then you can decide and send me the name, the link basically also, the theme which you want. All right, so uh, what I can say is that we can, uh, that theme, we can change it later. You can change it later, but it's not advisable. It's not advisable to change the theme again and again. So whatever theme you uh, go ahead with, just consider it to be the final theme because changing themes again and again can lead to loss of content, loss of data. Not every particular data will get imported from a previous theme to the new theme. All right, is there any other question which I can help you guys, uh, Pratik, Mukul, and Anuj? Because what I want to do is I want to wrap up the session and uh, we want to continue later with the SEO part tomorrow, right? We will do the recap of SEO and uh, the PPC part. We'll see how, how the session goes and so forth and more people will be joining in as well tomorrow. So get your website up and running. Make sure you get it. Uh, let me know about the theme part by latest by Monday, right? So by Monday, let me know about the theme which you want. And once you get the theme up, uh, try to get your website up by next Saturday, Sunday, before the session, before the next weekend session. All right, hope it makes sense. So are we good, uh, Anuj, Mukul, and Pratik? Are we good? Just trying to check if there are, uh, are there any questions. All right, thanks, Anuj, and thank you, Pratik, for acknowledging. Mukul, all right, thanks. So uh, I'll be wrapping up the session now. We'll be meeting across tomorrow, same time. And uh, do refer to the recordings, previous recordings. Do look into the, uh, the themes also, and let me know uh, as soon as possible on the theme part. And then we'll, we'll uh, get your website also up, up in the most appropriate manner. Uh, you need the details for the C panel, right? What all details uh, the, are you looking at? I'm not sure, let me know. Well, C panel is, uh, uh, is a platform, is a place from where you can do multiple things onto your website. But that is more for the developer, Anuj. So uh, that is more of a development task. I would say we don't need to focus more on that because we are we're going to be focusing more on the marketing end. When it comes down to you know doing multiple things uh, onto your website from the development perspective, it's the C panel which has been used. Right, so we would be focusing more on the marketing than the development one. In terms of cPanel, the only thing which we need to be aware of is how to get across the WordPress uploader. And that's what we did discuss. All right, so thanks everyone for joining in today. Thank you, Anuj, thank you, Mukul, and thanks, Pratik. So we will be continuing across our uh, discussion and furthermore recap, and then we'll move ahead, right? We are back in momentum. We are going to be back. We will, but the slowly and steadily, things are going to be on track, okay? Take care, everyone, and have a, a great Saturday and so forth, and we'll be meeting across tomorrow.